Now maybe design doesn't come as easy to you as it does for Grace, but you're still wanting to change up your home or your workplace a little bit. Maybe you want to repaint the walls, redecorate the indoors, outdoors, or just spice things up a little bit. I know that before I start anything new, I need lots and lots of advice. My next guest this morning, he has some great tips and exceptional products that will help you get your new project started. Reed, thank you for being with me this morning. Thank you for having me, Jenna. <laughs> you are so welcome. And now, Reed, you are the store manager over at Sherwin-Williams, so you know all about paint, don't you? Absolutely. Yep, yep. <laughs> I've been, been doing it quite a while. Okay. How long exactly? Uh, I've been working for Sherwin-Williams for 11 years. 11 years. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yes, you do know all about paint. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's start by giving our viewers some tips for those who want to paint either indoors or outdoors. Well, uh, a lot of times we find that the, the most common challenges that we have is the color. Mm -hmm. um, color is always a challenge for anybody that's a beginner or, you know, as, as a even your seasoned designer. Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, colors can be very hard, but you know we uh, we always like to help people out with our colors. Now we have a lot of tools um, online, such as the color visualizer on SherwinWilliams.com, um, and that tool is a very helpful tool to help you start with the selection process. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, a lot of in-store help as well, a lot of guidebooks. As far as uh, you can come to any one of our employees and get color advice anytime, we, we're glad to help you out with those those projects. Okay. Now, I have, I'm going to throw a color question at you right now, all right? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> and this is something that I've heard recently, and someone's asked me why it's so hard to cover darker colors up. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of times the darker colors are, are the hardest to cover up. Um, mostly, we recommend priming those walls first, um, and then if you're reapplying a dark color, we, we suggest that you start off with a gray primer. Uh, the gray primer, uh, the top coats cover it a lot better uh, over the gray primer than you would a white, a white, regular white primer. Um, now the darker colors, um, you, they will take an extra coat from time to time. However, um, you know our products uh, usually the dark colors, two coats, you know, and you're good. You're good to go. Just with two coats. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you're good. Absolutely. Okay. Now, what's another common question you get all the time? Um, a lot of times uh, people have surface imperfections. Um, mm -hmm. No wall is perfect. Uh, a lot of times uh, you will have walls, interior, exterior, uh, trim that will have a lot of surface imperfections. Um, generally, if you use a duller uh, sheen as a flat or a matte finish on those surfaces, they will cover up better. Now, traditionally, the semi-gloss and the set satin coatings that have the shine to it uh, were easier to clean than a flat or a matte would be. However, now we have a, a, lot, a, a very large line of paints to where it is washable. We have a, wash a whole washable paint line, um, so a lot of the scuff marks and dirt marks are easy wa easily washable when in the past they haven't been. Okay, so you have that new line, and now you also have another new line called Emerald Green? Yeah, our, uh, our Emerald Paint product line uh, is a brand new paint, paint coating that just came out. Uh, we're very excited about it. Um, it's an interior and exterior uh, product line, and it is the first uh, product line that has zero VOC uh, paints, uh, basically zero VOC coatings in it. Uh, zero VOC stands for Volatile Organic Compounds. Um, and this coating um, basically is uh, the whole green movement. You know, we're ha we're a lot of people are concerned with the environment, with the earth, um, you know, the pollution. And this is the first product that has zero VOCs in it, meaning not only is the paint zero VOCs, but the tint that we make the colors is also zero VOCs. So we're very excited about this paint. Uh, it's one of our, it's our, our best product ever, and uh, we're having a huge promotion on it right now as well. Okay, so the promotion, do our viewers, do they get a little special Absolutely. Discount? Um, right now we have, uh, it's the introductory price for Emerald, and we're doing 40% off mm -hmm. the introductory price, uh, introduct introductory price. Any sheen, any color, um, you know, all, all the sizes, so. 40% off, yep. that's a great mm -hmm. deal. Hopefully great everybody deal. can make their way to the store and get that. And now you gave me this paintbrush before the interview. Maybe this mm -hmm. will give me motivation to do something. Yeah, okay, well, read. Th well <laughs> this, is our, this is our more uh, popular brush. This is the Purdy uh, Two and a Half Pro Extra Glide. Okay. Um, that's one of our, um, our, probably our biggest selling brush at the store uh, mm -hmm. with contractors and the do-it-yourselfers. Um, a lot of times it makes it a little bit easier having the right brush for the project. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times, you know, if you're not an experienced painter, you know, selecting the right brush for the, pro for the project um, is key, and we help you out with that as well. Okay, good, because I would need lots of help with what kind of brushes I need to use <laughs> along with what colors. And now one more thing I wanted to bring to people's attention. Uh, you have a booklet right here, mm -hmm. and just tell our viewers a little bit about this booklet. It's carry some really important information. Well, yeah, basically, um, you know, here in Key West, uh, we have a lot of the homes that have built prior to 1978, a lot of older uh, historic 
historical homes, and at one point they might have had lead-based paint in, uh, in them. And basically, this brochure is uh, how to how to how to go about uh, go about doing um, projects if you do have lead lead-based paint in your home. Um, it's very dangerous for you know children and small pets. Um, and this pamphlet basically takes you through takes you through step by step on what to do if you did have lead paint uh, in your home previously. Uh, we also have lead paint uh, testing uh, swabs in our store that we sell. So if you were concerned about having lead paint in your home, you know you could do a, a lead paint test to mm -hmm. see if uh, that would be a possibility. Well, that's serious. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, you know they can get tests. If you have any concerns about, like Reed just said, if your home has lead paint, please get the test at Sherwin Williams. Thank you for sharing all this information. Absolutely, with our I'm glad to help. You've got me in the mood to redecorate. So Sounds thank good. You. <laughs> we'll help you out for your next project. Okay. All right. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages. Please stay with me.